Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make this card, but I'm not going to do a 5x5, five five. I'm going to do it as a 5x7, so you can easily make it a 5x5 five five if you want, but I'm actually going to do it as a 5x7. So this is a triple layered easel card, so you've got this bit here, folds down flat like that, that goes up there, you need to kind of give it a little bit of help, and it all folds up like that, and that's how it stands up obviously on your desk or mantelpiece. So the papers that I've used on this card are from In Love Art Shop. So if you use my code Iced Images, all in one word, that will get you 20% off your order. Um, this die, this um, hexagonal or well, square, but with a hexagon in the middle, that die there, that is also from In Love Arts. Um, and the Just For You is also from In Love Arts. The Miri card that I've used here is from DRK Crafts. Um, so if you go over there and have a look, this one I think was the, I think it was from the Mermaid Mirror Pack. I don't think I used the Tropical one, I think this was the Mermaid one. It might have been a mishmash of both to be fair, but yeah, and no, I'm pretty sure that was the Mermaid Pack. So yeah, so that is the card we're going to do today. And then obviously at the back there, you've got space to write. So as I said, we're going to do a five by seven. So this will actually be seven inches tall rather than being five. So that is what we're going to do today. So let's get into it. Okay, so you need a few bits of card for this. You're going to need one piece that's five by seven. That doesn't need scoring, so that can go to one side. Then you're going to need a piece that is five by ten. And on this one, you're going to score at two and a half and at five. And that can go to one side. Then next up, we have a piece that is five by six and a quarter. And this one, along the six and a quarter edge, you're going to score at one and a quarter and at two and a half. And then last but not least, you're going to need a piece that's five by five. And on this, you're just going to score at one and a quarter and at two and a half. And that's all your scoring done. So now all we need to do is we're just going to mountain fold all of our score lines. All right, so you should end up with that, hopefully. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the, the big piece. This is the 5 by 10 Now, you do end up with quite a lot of layers with this. So don't go too thick with your card. I might have gone too thick. You also don't want to go too flimsy. But anyway, you just judge. I think this, because this is craft cards, so this is probably about a 300, which is a bit much. Probably could have gone with a 200, 220, 230, something along those lines. So we're going to go with this one here. So this one is the five by six and a quarter. And we're just going to put some glue on the back here. And obviously, if you want to change up the way that this goes together, you want to change up your pieces, make it a little bit, little bit less bulky, you can. Um, but this was just the easiest way that I thought of doing it. Just, it just means you haven't got to worry about measuring and, you know, it's easy just to line up. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up these edges here with this bottom bit here on your on your large piece like that okay so that just all lines up on the edge if you made this shorter which you could it just means then you've then got to start lining things up so I just I just discovered this was the easiest way so that's that way then we're going to get this one turn it over and again on the back of the largest section we're going to add some glue if you want you could use um uh, double-sided tape but you need something strong really and again we're just going to line these up with this bottom edge and the side edges like that so you can already see you're starting to get your card into place now as you can probably tell this is very chunky now this base is very chunky it's this is almost a thickness of like you know when you get a, a good like um the back of a paper pad it's almost that kind of thickness so and then we just need to make sure, it's another reason why you kind of need a thinner card, because you want these creases to, to want to fold this way. If they want to open up, then it's quite difficult to get the easel to kind of prop open properly. Right, so once we've done that, we are then going to bring in our big piece, and this is the 5 by 7 And I'm actually going to go ahead and just stick the panel onto it now before I stick it into place. So you're going to need a pattern panel that is four and a half by six and a half and a matte panel that's four and three quarter by six and three quarter and that is going to go over the top like that now this card here 
is actually the glitter card pack that I got from DRK Craft. So some of you will remember that. So it's this pack here. Now this is 300 GSM, so I'm really I'm really pushing it with the with the uh, thicknesses here. But I really wanted to use some of this glitter, and I was also like, hang on a second, can you emboss glittered card? And especially with it being 300, what would it look like? Did it turn out all right? So I thought I'd have a go. So I embossed it, and I've just turned my light on, so hopefully you can see. Can you see? See in real life, you can see that embossing quite well, but on camera you can't really see it. But it just adds a little bit of texture really so i just use like an embossing folder so you can kind of see it a bit of there and i've just embossed the glitter card and i quite like the way that has turned out so i'm going to go ahead and stick that onto that panel there right so that is that stuck down so let's go and concentrate on this and before we add this onto here let's just do these little layers here so on the front of here and here you're going to need to put uh, in total you need three pieces because one of them is going to be a stopper on the front so you're going to need three pieces of mat that are one inch by four and three quarter and three pieces of pattern that are three quarters by four and a half and these are just going to go on the front like this i've actually made mine a little bit bigger because i just wanted more of the pattern but obviously if you want to um if you want to you know go a little bit with the normal sizes you can or you can do what you want. So I'm just going to go ahead now and stick this one on the front of there. And I'm going to stick this one on the front of there. And before I forget, these papers are actually from Coca Rosa Studio. And it's this pack here. So you probably would have seen this in a craft haul video. Um, so it's this pack. And I really wanted to use them because although they're like mermaids, if you turn them the other way around, they're a little bit like waves. So I just thought for kind of the effect of the sea, that might work quite well. So if you go over to Coco Rosa Studio, don't forget to use my code ICED20, which will get you 20% off your order. So I'm going to go ahead now and just stick these two down, and then this one we need to deal with later. So I'm just going to stick two of them down for now. Right, so we stuck those two down. So now we need to go ahead and stick this one. But this one is going to go at the front here, but it needs to be on foam, with foam tape or foam pads. So I've got some foam tape here and I'm just going to do a line of foam tape along there like that. I'm going to do the little wipe in the scissors with baby wipe before we cut it. This isn't a very wet baby wipe so it might not work but hopefully it will. And then hopefully we won't end up with stickiness all over our scissors. And then I'm going to peel the backing off here. And we're going to stick it on that front base here. So I'm just going to make sure it's the right way around. Bring this in. And obviously I just need to remember that I've got a bit of a border there as well. Right, so that's that bit done. So then if you, as long as you crease this down, that should then go behind there. Crease this one down a bit. That should go behind there. So then you've got the start of your, the start of your card. So then what we want to do is we're going to just put these down for a second. Um, and then if we just flip this over at the back here, we want to put a mat piece that is two and a quarter by four and three quarter on the back. And then you need a white piece that's two by four and a half. Now, because my mat is white, I'm just literally going to put a white piece there. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick this onto the back. I've decided I'm going to use a peel off on the back because most of my birthday stamps are a bit too big. I have got birth stamps that are the right size, but. OK, so that's that back bit on there like that. And then all we need to do is we need to stick this piece on here. So we're only going to stick it on the bottom half, obviously. And then that is then going to pop up and go behind here. Now, what we also need to do is decorate this panel. So I think what I might do is I think I might because you don't actually lose a lot of that panel only about that little section there. The rest of it you can see. So I think I'm going to decorate. Yeah, I'm going to decorate after I've put it on um, because I'm going to be using silicon glue and stuff like that. and I need that to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead now and stick this on. So we're going to glue this whole bottom section here. I'm going to fold the whole lot flat. This is going to go over the top and just stick down again. Just make sure it all lines up at the side, at the bottom. 
and then just wait for that to dry. Right, so now it's time to decorate. So I've got a set of dies that I got from Coco Rosa Studio. So again, don't forget ice 20 if you want to um, go over and get 20% off your order. So this is the die set. So you've got a welcome, you've got two flip flops with the little toe strap things, and then a whole load of seashells. And I really like the fact they've put these seashells in because it's not the sort of normal shells you get usually in a seaside pack. It's usually all the like, starfish and whatever. So I'm pleased about that, that's good. So I'm just gonna put this to one side and I'm gonna bring in my die cutting machine. So some of you will recognize this. This is my Coco Rosa Studio die cutting machine. I've mentioned it before, but I just wanted to use it and you can see, <laughs> you can see how much I've been using it. I literally have been using it a load. So you can see how well used it is. Um, I just wanted to use it on this video just so you can see that I do actually you know, if I say I like something and I use it, you can see that I, uh, that is actually the case. I'm not just saying it for the sake of the video. So I want to die cut out some shells. So I've got this um, kind of pearlescent paper. And this was out of a first edition uh, Chasing Rainbows pack, which is this one, which is very well loved and used from many years ago. Uh, probably about 2018, 20, maybe even 2017. I can't remember, but it was quite a while ago. So I'm going to put these on. I'm just going to cut out some of these shells. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just work out what shells I want, what I want them to be cut out of, etc. And then I will come back to you in a minute after I've cut everything out. Okay, so I've cut all my bits out. So now I'm just going to go ahead now, assemble my flip-flops, and then just go ahead and start putting things onto the card. Okay, so it's still drying, so I have to be careful, but that is the finished card. So there you go. I'll just put a bit on the stopper, a bit there. Obviously, you've seen how it folds down flat. I'm not going to fold it down flat now, because if I do, I'm going to squeeze everything. And then obviously, as you can see, you've got space on the back to write. I have got some spare off cuts. So I think what I might do with the little spare die cuts is I might stick them on the back. Just a few, just on the little where the greeting is. So yeah, so that is the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, go and check out Coco Rosa Studio. So that was for the paper and these um, beach dies. And use my code ICE20, which you get 20% off. Go and check out In Love Arts, which is where this die came from. And use my code iced images all in one word and that will get you 20 percent off go and check out drk crafts because that's where this card came from um just gonna have a look they've got some really good bargains over there um and yeah hope you enjoyed it so please like subscribe leave a comment down below hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and i'll see you again next time bye